In this video, we're going over how to mirror your Samsung Galaxy A12 screen to your TV. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the mobile technology coming out and learn cool tips, tricks, and hidden features, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the bell to turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. Today we're going to walk you through how to mirror your screen to your TV and we're going to show you two different methods here. Now the first method is specifically mirroring exactly what's happening on your screen move by move on your TV. The second method we're going to show you is just how to send a video from your phone to the TV. Uh, some of you guys want to show your gameplay or you know tutorials of different things you're doing on the phone on your TV and others just want to watch Netflix or YouTube on the TV. So we're going to show you two ways um, to kind of uh, get what's on your phone on your TV. Now disclaimer, the first method, if you're trying to show exactly move by move what you're doing on the TV, you will need a Chromecast uh, to do it. That's the only way to do it in this first option. Now with the second option, you can do it with um, any smart TV, any Chromecast, Roku, Apple TV, Fire Stick, all those devices will support the second method, but just remember the second method is just, I wanna play a video from my phone to the TV. So that's just kind of the disclaimer of what we're gonna show in the video. Now, um, next to do this, you will need three things first, you will need home Wi-Fi, a home Wi-Fi connection. Second, you will need a Chromecast device. And third, you will need an HDTV with an HDMI connection um, because the Chromecast will connect to your HDTV via the HDMI connection and the Chromecast will need to be set up on your home network. Okay, now that we've gotten all the details out of the way, uh, let's go ahead and jump in and show you exactly how this should work. Now, First things first, on your phone, you will need to make sure you are connected to Wi-Fi. So swipe down from the top of your screen and make sure your Wi-Fi button is lit up and you are connected to your home network. That's the first thing. Second, you will need to go to the Play Store and download the Google Home app. This is a free app. Just download it and go ahead and open it. Let me slide my phone over here. And then on your TV, um, make sure your Chromecast is plugged in and make sure you switch your input on the TV to look like this. Um, now, when you first plug in the Chromecast, there is a setup process. It'll ask you to connect to it from a device and it'll walk you through how to set it up on the internet, uh, on your home internet. And if you're not sure how to do that, we'll have links below in the description on how to set up your Chromecast. We'll also have links below on where you can buy a Chromecast if you'd like to get one. Uh, so you should see this on your TV screen. Now in our Google Home app, we are going to just do a quick setup. Uh, we're just gonna hit okay, hit next here. You don't have to give it location access, so I always hit deny for that one. And then it's gonna take you to this main screen, which is the main screen of the Google Home app. So you'll find my Chromecast right down here at the bottom. And I've named my Chromecast Nunya TV, but you can name it whatever you want when you do the setup. Just tap on the icon to the left here. And then at the bottom of the screen, you'll see a button that says cast my screen. You're gonna tap there and then tap cast my screen again. Start now. And then uh, you should see your phone is gonna show up on the TV just like this. And now I can go home. And as you can see, anything I do on the phone is gonna show up on the TV. I can also take my phone and I can turn it in the uh, landscape position. Uh, let's open up an app first. We'll open up Google Chrome here, turn in landscape. And so I am able to, you know, swipe through. And basically anything you do on your phone is gonna show up on the TV exactly as you're doing the motion. So that's one of the best parts about just being able to mirror. I can show pictures from my family trip. I can show a video that's on my phone. I can show a game if I'm uh, playing a game and I wanna show everyone in the room how the game looks, I can do all that. Um, I can also play a video from here too, but it's not the best option. So um, now that we've shown you the first way to do this, 
I'm gonna close this out and show you the second way that's just gonna allow you to send a video right from your phone to the TV. So swipe down from the top of the screen. And if you look through, I have a, quite a few things here in my notifications, but there's an option that says cast and it's showing that my TV, my uh, phone is being cast to the TV. I'm just gonna tap on the little arrow in the corner here and tap disconnect. And that will stop my screen from being mirrored to the TV. And for the second option, I'm gonna go to YouTube and I'm just gonna play a YouTube video from my phone to the TV. So here, I'm going to find a video here. Let's tap and pause it. Now, if you come to the upper right corner, you'll see this icon. This is your cast icon. Tapping on that will allow you to send it right to the TV. Now, I just wanna show you quickly before I started casting, um, I have a Samsung Smart TV that's downstairs. I can tap here and it'll automatically send it to my Samsung TV. Uh, I have my Chromecast here, which is Nunya TV, and then Office is my Roku. Now, again, this will work on literally um, just about any streaming device that you have. Um, you just need to make sure that it's plugged in, the TV is on, and it will show up in the list here. So I'm gonna tap Nunya TV. After a few seconds, you'll see YouTube is gonna show up, and I can now begin to play this video on my TV and I can still do other things on the phone. That's why this method is better because it doesn't take up your entire screen. Again, if your goal was just, hey, I wanted to mirror my screen so that I can, you know, I wanna still be able to send text messages or I wanna be able to go on the internet or go on Instagram while my video is playing on the TV, then this is the best way to do it. I can have my video playing here and I still have full access to everything on my phone um, just like that. So that's how the second option works. And when you're ready to uh, control the video, you can just simply swipe down from the top of your screen. Right here, you'll see the video is playing. I can pause the video from here. There's a little arrow in the corner here I can tap as well. And I can fast forward the video like this, or I can just simply stop the video by hitting the X and that will stop the video from playing on the TV. So that's it guys. This has been how to mirror your Samsung Galaxy A12 screen to your TV. I try to keep it short and sweet and I always like to include, um, again, different options because some of you guys wanna mirror the whole screen and some of you just wanna play a video. So hopefully I've covered everything you guys wanted to do. Now to answer the question some of you guys may still have, uh, smart view. The Samsung Galaxy A12 does not support smart view. Um, it does not have that functionality built in. That's why we have to use a Chromecast. So if you were buying this phone for that feature, unfortunately it doesn't have it and it's a bummer because it would allow for just you to do more with your uh, Samsung smart TV, but it doesn't have it. So Anyway, hope you guys did find this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care, and as always, have a good one.